What's up guys, so in today's video I'm going to be fitting a honeycomb grill to my LDA3. So I've got to go to Argos as it got delivered there as I wasn't home today for it to be delivered to my house. So I'll pop over there quickly, pick it up and then be back for you guys once I've got it. So guys, this GBT auto styling. That's the brand that it came off. This was actually on eBay where I bought it for 170 quid. So yeah, let's crack it open. So guys, here it is. This is sick, boys. If you have an LDA3 and you're wondering what first mod to do, I definitely recommend getting this grill. So a few of the grills I've seen, they have like the number plate is all the way out here, which is a bit annoying because you can't like take it off when you want to take photos. So a mate recommended this one to me. So this was 170 quid, but yeah, you can take these off and you can actually buy clips, which means you can just clip it onto the grill. And then when you've parked up somewhere, you want to get a cool photo. You can literally just unclip this when you're out and get some photo of just the grill with the LD badge or if you don't want the LD badge on there. But yeah, it's just a bit of plastic that's on there. However, I won't be fitting it yet. I'll be fitting it in the end of the week. So for you guys, it'll be in a minute. However, for me, end of the week. So I'm going to leave it on there for protection. I'll put this all back in the packet. However, yeah. So come with that. Come with the RS3 badge. I won't put it on there. And then this that fell on the floor. A black LD front badge. So I don't know if I'll put that on there, guys, as I quite like the chrome LD look and I don't have the back one for the LD yet. So I'll leave that off for now, however, I might put it on in the future. But yeah. The honeycomb guys. I'd say it's definitely worth the money. And especially having this so it's not attached so you can take it off if you're a car guy and you like to take photos of it so yes let's go for this and i'll see you out at the car so guys we're out here with my car as you can see the grill that i have now is just a plain straight grill that come with most of the ld's and also the chrome like ring on the outside so that will come off with the grill and luckily on the grill that I ordered, the honeycomb one, it is a black surround instead of the chrome. So that will be de-chromed. And then, yeah, so I've got to get the bumper off, guys. First things first, I'll flick these bits off because you've got to take them out to get the bumper off. Should be one on this side. Oh no, there's only one on that side, guys. So I'll flick that out and then there's a few screws I've got to do, which one behind the wheel arch I have to turn my wheel. There's one there, should be one, one just there guys, if the camera will focus there, one there, and then I think that's it for that side too, that'd be the same on the other side. So I'll undo them ones on this left hand side and the right hand side and then and underneath the car guys if you look right on the front trim there's one there one just along a bit here and then there's one there as well go and do them and then there'll be one a bit further along single as that last one so that's literally just under there guys they'll undo and then if you put the bonnet open, which I'll do right now for you guys quickly, there's a few screws along the top. I'll take them out. So yeah guys, there's these three here. You unscrew them. Then you'd unscrew the ones behind the wheel arch and then the ones underneath. So that'd be the way I'll do it. Them three, then under here, and the side ones. So yeah guys, I'll be back with you once I took the bumper off and I'll show you me changing over the grill. So 
So guys, to get the grill off, you have to undo a few torque screws and then unclip the grill. Then the new grill will just clip back into place and then I'll do the torque screws back up. And then I'll put a bumper back on and do all the torque screws back up on the car. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's on. So it's on boys, that literally just wiggles off and pops out and then there's these clips there, you unclip them too and then the same on this side, this one was joint but I unclip that one and then once you've unclipped them, this will literally just pull off and then yeah that's how we got that off, then that just clips back into place and then you clip them in and that's sorted guys. So yeah I'll fit this back on the bumper and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once this one. So guys, that's the, how the front grill's looking. As you can see, that looks so much better than the straight grill that was on there first. These plates are getting changed back to P77 TJT, hopefully over the weekend. So I might be able to add that into the video before this gets uploaded. But yeah, I put the Chrome Audi logo back on, which I definitely prefer having the chrome and the black as it just makes it a bit different and but i'm way happier now that black trim is there instead of the silver chrome that was there before but yeah these this plate bit is so handy that you can take that off however that will be coming off when i change these plates as i bought the clips for the p77 plates that is basically just clips that clip onto the honeycomb instead of going onto the plate so they can let you just unclip when taking photos so yeah hopefully they'll come by the weekend guys the clips and i can show you them before i upload the video however yeah this is how it's looking guys from the front i think that looks way better i'm probably going to get a maxton design front splitter as well to make that look lower and get coil overs to make that gap way better and the car look lower and just yeah that look better in general guys so yeah let me know in the comments what you think guys of this i'd highly recommend it if you've got an audi and you've got this straight grill the standard one go get this one 170 quid but it's definitely worth it so i got my marking out here when i got it in line i basically just marked a little line up there and then made sure centered off here and there and then done the width of here, so I half the width of that, and then done it up from both sides. And then yeah, so that's exactly in the middle guys there. And then the distance that the honeycomb bit wanted to be was about here. So it came with this like wipe thing. So I'm gonna quickly wipe the areas that like, the squares around and then I'll fit that for you guys on it. So guys, that's the clips on there. They're just pushed nicely on there in the gap. And yeah, it's quite nice to have these clips as when I like to take photos, it looks nice to just have the grill without the plates on most of the time. I will keep the plates on some photos, but yeah, and if you're like car meets and that, take it off. It just looks nicer with just the grill on the Audi badge. So yeah, I'm going to push that on now guys and then show you what it looks like. So guys, that's the plate pushed on and that's how it's looking. So yeah, 
the clips just literally push on there and then when you want to go if your meats or anything goes and you want to take it off you literally just pull it off so yeah that's how the grill's looking let me know as i said in the comment guys what you think of the grill i'd highly recommend it so yeah let me know in the comments guys also what mods i should do think about maybe lowered spray my wheels and sun strip at the moment as my next few mods but yeah let me know in the comments guys and that's gonna be it for the video so i hope you did enjoy and if you did please do like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one